Watch a much more in-depth version of this video with lots of bloopers on Nebula. And right now you can even get a lifetime membership. More about that at the end. I'm Legal Eagle and I'm an American attorney and this is Koichiro Matsui. He's a Japanese criminal lawyer and we're reacting to Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Objection, it's not Phoenix Wright, it's Naruho Doriuichi. Oh boy, it's gonna be a long day. In the, in the first episode, Phoenix Wright, or uh, <laughs> whatever his name is. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult to um, He is uh, very proud to become uh, an attorney, and he puts a pin on his lapel. Right. Uh, is, I, I can't help but notice, you are wearing a pin on your lapel. Yeah. Is that how we know that you are a real practicing attorney as well? Yes, only attorneys can get this. So um, he, is, he is a lawyer. Is there a store that sells the lawyer pins and you can get a whole, totally different one? No, no, this is a single one you have to get. Okay. So you can't, dif you can't, you cannot get different ones. And and do you have to wear it in court? Um, I don't, I'm not sure actually. Maybe you have, you don't have to wear it. Uh, but it, I think it looks much more like uh, arrogant and it much, much looks nicer <laughs> in a way. So. Oh look! 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 This is the pen, actually. You, you, if you look at the inside of the pen, this is the same mark. Oh, it has the scales of yeah, justice yeah, 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 yeah. on it. Oh, it's it's oh, it's so small. It's, yeah, and it's uh, so small that you can't. Yeah, see it's it, right but... in the middle of, mm -hmm. of it. Okay, mm -hmm. got it. Does a Japanese courtroom look anything like that? Because that is nothing like <laughs> what an American courtroom looks like. No, no, this is totally ridiculous. That's how it looks. No, first of all, the audience. They're, they're looking from like, you know, from the top. We don't have audience looking from the top. <laughs> That's ridiculous, no. Yeah. Would anyone wear a frilly thing like the, the prosecutor uh, is here? No, no, I've never seen I'm never seeing one of these like prosecutors wearing the fluffy stuff. No, no, no. Yeah, I will say your hair is just as good as uh, as the prosecutors. Though, oh, so thank you, at thank least, you. At least that's not unrealistic. <laughs> <laughs> Could a lawyer represent himself in a capital murder case? Um, the answer is no. You have to have another lawyer who's defending Lawyer. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Especially in the murder case. Yeah. I mean, in the US, we have a saying uh, a lawyer who represents himself has a fool for a client. Oh, okay. Um, so it is very frowned upon. If you are accused of murder, you should not represent yourself. Mm -hmm. um, in the US, you have a right to an attorney to be provided to you by the state. Um, but it is actually possible. And there are many famous cases, they don't generally go well. Oh. For the defendant, but you can represent yourself. Oh. But in Japan, um, for civil cases, uh, there are some people who actually go to the court by themselves. Mm -hmm. um, but for criminal cases, you actually have to hire a lawyer, uh, especially in the murder cases. Yeah. So, what happens when you are accused of a crime, but you can't afford an attorney to represent you? Oh, so if that's the case, the government chooses lawyer for you. Mm -hmm. So you, uh, you're able to have a lawyer uh, without any money, basically. Yeah. You don't have to pay for them. Okay, that's pretty similar to the yeah. US. You don't scream in the courtroom. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> if you scream in the courtroom in Japan, you, you're basically out of the room immediately. Yeah. I was gonna say, it seems like in all animes, oh, right. yeah, yeah. they're always screaming all the time. <laughs> That's true. So, 
So in the US version, the prosecutor's name is Miles Edgeworth. Um, but here in the Japanese version, his name is Mitsurugi. Does that have any connotations? Yeah, actually, um, Tsurugi is kind of like a sword. So kind of the edge and sword kind of connects to. Okay, yeah, so it's all right. similar that's, anyway. Well, that's a lot more similar than Phoenix, Phoenix Wright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the American version, um, they ha they use a lot of puns about Phoenix Wright. Oh, you're Phoenix wrong. Uh, you know, oh, I see, I see. You, you didn't rise from the ashes. Yeah. Um, is there a similar pun going on with the, the, his name in Japanese? No, the name it actually has nothing to do with like Phoenix Wright. It's. Uh... Naruhodo Ryuichi means, Naruhodo is like in Japanese, like I see when you understand it. And Ryuichi comes from Sakamoto Ryuichi, who's actually a famous musician. Huh. So it's nothing to do with Phoenix, right? Yeah. But uh, does anyone actually have the name Naruhodo? Uh, no, I've never heard of that. <laughs> yeah. So I guess they're trying to make it seem like he's a very smart and inquisitive person and he'll see through all of the shenanigans in court, I guess. Yeah, I guess so, yeah. So they just finished a trial of someone that was uh, acquitted of murdering uh, Phoenix Wright's Naruho Naruhodo's oh, yeah. boss, and they just go straight into another trial. Right. No indictment whatsoever. I assume there must be some process to start a prosecution, and they didn't follow it. You have to start a new trial, first of all. <laughs> if you want to accuse for some other person, yeah. So you can't just like, you know, say he's a new murderer in, a, in, a, in the same trial. No, you can't, you can't do that. You have, to start, <laughs> you have to start a new trial, for sure. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> So it, it's funny that the ace attorney is most famous for making objections. If I were him or the defense attorney, I would be objecting to this testimony that it's unfairly prejudicial because he's calling him Mr. Murderer and he, he keeps saying that this guy committed. Right, that's true. That's yeah, true, yeah, it's totally objectionable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yet, He's not objecting. <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> so we of course know that he's lying. Mm. But I also think it's really funny that he's supposed to have heard this crash behind a closed window in an office building, and there's another closed window in another office building, and an alley between the two places, and there's there's no way that he would have heard any right, of that right. between that, right. you know, let alone mm -hmm. stopped his reading mm -hmm. to you know pretend to yeah, watch this yeah, stuff. Yeah. Why no one stopped it? You know, yeah. surely if he heard the crash. Yeah. This must have been the loudest crash in history, and, and other people would have uh, would have helped out. Also, it would be completely improper for the judge to opine from the bench. Oh, Mr. Witness. That was that was really good testimony, and I'm c totally convinced yeah, of what you have I to know, say. I know, I know. The judge is just stating his opinion. Like, <laughs> you have to wait until the end. Come on. In a Japanese criminal prosecution, would it be a judge determining uh, guilt or innocence, or would there be a jury? Um, usually, the judge. Okay. But in the murder cases in Japan, uh, we have kind of like a jury system. It's a similar to jury system. Mm -hmm. uh, when some citizens uh, participate in, in uh, making decision. Right. Uh, usually six of them. Six citizens with three judges. So uh, the prosecutor was examining this witness. Okay, okay. And then the judge turned it over to Ace Attorney to do the cross-examination. Right, right, right. Does the defendant have the right to cross-examine oh, witnesses yeah, yeah, against yeah. him? Yeah, yeah, we do. I think the one who calls the witness goes first mm -hmm. in the questioning. 
and the other party can start questioning after that. Yeah. Yeah. That, is that different from... No, that's, that's exactly oh, the same. Yeah. Uh, often in Ace Attorney, they are questioning at the same time. Um, oh yeah, that shouldn't happen. <laughs> yeah, go. they they show that in American legal shows right. all the time, and it, it drives me crazy that just it's one and then the other. You don't get to question them at the same time. Yeah, you have to be patient, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Now, obviously, you should never represent yourself if you're on trial for murder. You should get a good lawyer. But if you want a great lawyer, my law firm, The Eagle Team, can help. If you've suffered a data breach, especially if you ever get one of those data breach letters, if you've gotten into a car crash or are dealing with a worker's comp or social security issue, we can represent you or help find you the right attorney. It's so important to talk to a lawyer right away so you can get the best representation and find out what your options are. So just click on the link in the description or call the number that's on screen for a free consultation with my team. Because you understand the legal team, you need The Eagle Team. So click on the link below. And to find someone guilty of murder, mm -hmm. Does the jury have to be unanimous uh, as in the United States? No, actually we decide on majority vote. Okay. Yeah. So there are six jurors and you need four for conviction. Oh, basically six chairs plus three judge. Oh, okay. So there are nine votes actually. Huh. So five votes can make a decision. And the judges participate in that yes, process? Yes, yes, yes. No kidding. Yeah. Okay. あれが倒れるほど。あれって何ですか?うーんと、そう、ガラスの電気スタンドだよ。You <笑> So, the prosecutor is talking about the lack of contradiction. What standard do you need to convict someone of a murder crime? Um, in the, in the US, the standard is a very very high bar. You have to prove your case right beyond a reasonable doubt, um, which is the highest standard in all of criminal law. Um, is there a similar articulation of, yes, of a standard? I think it's exactly the same. Really? Yeah. So beyond reasonable doubt. Yeah. But to get a conviction, you only need a majority of the jury and the judges together mm -hmm, mm -hmm. deciding that there was no uh, reasonable doubt. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> The funny thing about him making an objection right. is that he's conducting the cross-examination. Right, right. He, he, he can't object to himself. And, oh, that's true. Yeah. And he's, obje he's objecting to the testimony yeah, of yeah, this guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the one place where you, you're not allowed to make an objection. Right, you right. just, you know, question them uh -huh. and... And you have to object to the judge, you know? Yeah. You don't make an objection to the witness. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he could, he could move to strike the testimony if there was something there, but a factual contradiction is not a thing that you can make an, uh -huh. an objection to. Yeah, right. Oh, man. And then also, like, we don't really say igiari. <laughs> we don't say that. We just say politely igiarimasu. <laughs> That's how we do it. Yeah, um, for the most part, that's the same in the U.S. Right, as well. Yeah, yeah. You're just simply pointing something yeah. out to the judge. It's more interesting. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Are there grounds to stop certain questions or stop certain answers. Um, we have a whole system of rules of evidence. Hearsay is a famous one that, mm -hmm. you know, technically hearsay evidence shouldn't come in most of the time. We talk a lot about how the exceptions oh. allow, allow it all the time. In the Japanese trials, uh, are objections made to prevent evidence or there are some legal systems where basically everything comes in and it's up to the, the jury to decide that something isn't important or is mm. important. Um, are there rules of evidence that prevent or allow things in? The prosecutors bring all the evidence in the first place and they have to present all of them um, at the beginning of the trial.
We we'll have to get you done screaming the call. <laughs> Even if you're really upset? Even if you're upset, then you have to control your emotions. Come. Does this layout make any sense at all with the, the witness <laughs> sort of in the center no. and the judge over here? This on is the a very room. big courtroom yeah. you know, in the first place. Um, usually, the judge is much closer and we have law clerk in here. Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't really come out yeah. in the middle of the case, you know? Yeah, I, same in the U.S. Right. Um, there's so many American movies where the lawyer just walks around right, right. like crazy, yeah. and it just doesn't happen in real life. Oh, it doesn't happen? I mean, a little bit. Yeah. Um, usually, you have to ask for for permission. Oh, okay. This is we would call this the well. Yeah. And you would ask for permission to enter the well. Sometimes you might be right in front of counsel table okay. if you're questioning, but in movies, they're just walking around mm. like they own the place mm. and that's just you know not not the case well it doesn't happen right in of course i assume that uh, the prosecutor cannot offer his own argument in the middle of a cross-examination right, right, yeah. to bolster the, the witness's <laughs> testimony <laughs> The victim's sister is channeling the spirit of the victim who is helping during the trial. Uh -huh. Is there a is there a cultural thing here, or is this <laughs> just completely insane? Because like, there's no analog for this in right, American right. culture at all. I think it's I don't know. <laughs> Maybe we do have like sort of a co like culture that we believe our like ancestors. Okay. Stuff. So that kind of comes into <laughs> you know the reality, and uh, that kind of explains what he, what she's trying to do. But then. <laughs> but come on, this is yeah. during the during the trial. Yeah, yeah, and also uh, he's the criminal defendant, and then the victim's sister is just hanging out at right, counsel yeah, table. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, she, what, is, what is she doing? What is the she time? doing there? I have no <laughs> idea. I have zero clue. この領収書に何が分かったみたいね。それではこれにて診療終了して判決に移ります。Okay, well, I'm, I'm glad there's an objection there. Um, well, I, I forgot. This was a continuation from the previous trial, so I guess I guess there's been a lot of evidence right, entered, right. the police testified. Yeah. Oh my. I don't even know what to say. The, the judge ending trial abruptly <laughs> without closing arguments and just right, saying, all right, right, I'm gonna find you guilty. <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's not realistic. Right, right, it's not realistic at all. Actually, though, a proper place uh, for an objection, I would say. That's true, that's true, but this is not like, Objection, this is like hold it. What oh, is, really? Yeah, what is hold it? Like, we don't really have, like, it's not written low. <laughs> However, there was a holding, but. Naru hodo Yeah, it's just a, a plea to, to yeah. stop ending the trial. But as if, like, we, we have, like, you know, right to stop the judge, you know, yeah. in the middle, but, like, yeah. we don't really have that kind of system. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so sure, that is good evidence yeah. to use against this mm -hmm. witness, but this this witness doesn't have any knowledge of this document. So here in the U.S., there would have been an objection right. that there's no basis to question mm -hmm. this witness about this receipt because mm -hmm. he has no knowledge about it. And right, here's here's the ace attorney. You know, giving a closing argument. Right, right. I have this evidence that contradicts <laughs> your your testimony. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I mean, is there any reason that that he would be allowed to question this witness about something that doesn't concern him? Not at all. Not at all. And he should be, you know, having really close look at this evidence because it's important. Yeah. Why are you bringing it to the end? You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, 
再調査の上新たな証拠を提示したい逃がしてはダメよ今ここで決着をつけないと OK so in this series、um, the prosecutor is constantly withholding evidence from、yeah. the defense、right. and the, he's always trying to stop trial <laughs> so that he can go out and do more of an investigation right, right. and get more evidence、yeah. Um, in the US, we have what's called the Brady Rule,、mm. where any evidence that would be helpful to the defense must be turned over to the defense long before the trial starts.、Right. Is there a similar rule, or is the prosecutor allowed to only disclose things as、um, the, the trial proceeds? In Japan, the prosecutors are、um, allowed to disclose、uh, one's evidence that、uh, they're going to use,、mm -hmm. um, uh, but, you can, but the prosecutors can reject. Uh, uh, lawyer's request.、Actually. Okay. Yeah. Is that turned over、uh, before trial or is it turned over at trial?、Um, before the trial. Okay. Yeah. Especially in the murder case, we have to have some、um, series of meetings before going to the trial. Okay. And so all the evidence should be set before starting the trial. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's pretty similar.、Yeah. And again, nothing like,、uh, nothing like, like. Ace Attorney <laughs> at all. <laughs> Goodbye forever! Machitasai! なんだこれはあれはさっき千尋さんが走り書きしていたババカなどうしてこのリストがあなたがこれまで脅迫してきた政財界や有名人のリストよなぜだあの晩始末したはずそれがマスコミに公表されたらあなた一体どうなるかしらねリストはここに刻みつけてあるの読み上げてあげましょうかまずは法務大臣にさそれだけはやめてくれそ,それでは認める認めるよ And、oh, this is so ridiculous the ghost of the dead woman <laughs> like provides a list of,、right? of names それだけはやめてくれ<笑>そ,それでは認める認めるよ OK I have to believe that having a blackmail list、mm. revealed to the public、mm. would not nearly be as bad as the penalty for confessing to the premeditated murder、uh -huh. of the victim、mm -hmm. in this case.、Mm -hmm. am, I, am I right in that regard? Yeah, I think so, I think so, yeah. <laughs> What penalty would this guy be facing? Could he, could he get the, the death penalty? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Think he only kills one person, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's just one person.、Uh, you have to kill like three people okay、um, in order to get death, death penalty in Japan, so. Would he get life in prison?、Uh, probably, probably, okay yeah. yeah. Or like 15 years sentence or more. Yeah,、mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know, it seems like he should not care about that list. <laughs> Alright, now it's time to give、uh, Ace Attorney a grade for legal realism.、Uh, I'll turn it over to you.、Uh, what grade would you give this episode for realism? So, in Japanese grading system, we have U as in like A, yeah. Ryo as B, like. Ka as a C and the Fuka as F. And I'm gonna give the last one, Fuka. <laughs> I will also give it an F in the American system. <laughs> and I'm so happy to hear that, that it wasn't just me saying this was unrealistic. Right, yeah.、Uh, it's, uh, it's great to know that a Japanese lawyer also feels the same way. Igeri! <laughs> <laughs> Now this video was tons of fun and shot on location in Tokyo, all thanks to Nebula. And if you like this reaction, we have a longer full-length cut available on Nebula where Mr. Matsui and I go even deeper into the intricacies of the Japanese legal system. Because on Nebula, you can watch all my videos ad-free and early, because my videos always go up on Nebula first. And for a limited time, you can get a lifetime membership. You can buy once and then never again. It's the greatest deal of all. Plus, there's tons of exclusive content. For example, when you sign up for Nebula Direct, you also get access to my Nebula-only videos, like the deep dive we took on Trump's mental state for various crimes he's accused of, and the crimes that Steve Bannon was pardoned for. And I know tens of thousands of you signed up for Nebula using the CuriosityStream bundle, but unfortunately, that's over. CuriosityStream has informed us, and even included in their latest SEC filing, that they don't intend to pay us bundle revenue through 2024. That means I won't get any of the money for bundle subscribers. So the bundle is breaking, and you're not going to be able to have access to Nebula anymore after 2024. 
maybe I'll make a video about that soon. So if you want to support this channel, the only way to ensure that money that you spend on Nebula goes to me is to sign up directly. And if you're new here, Nebula includes tons of exclusive videos from me, original series from your favorite people, movies, plays, classes, and more. With favorites like uh, Johnny Harris, Neo, Jetlag, Real Engineering, Real Life Lore, and of course, Legal Eagle. And the exclusives on Nebula are incredible. We have a whole slate of exciting projects ready for 2024. One of the most exciting for me being Boomers, a feature length documentary from Tom Nicholas, explaining the problems of aging political leaders in the Western world and his trademark comedic style. And you can see my feature length documentary, Bad Law Words Good, as well as my other Nebula exclusive content, including my full length interview with the screenwriter of My Cousin Vinny and my not safe for work video about lawsuits that are too hot for YouTube. Because what's truly special about Nebula is that it's a creator owned platform built by me and other YouTubers and podcasters and because it's a subscription service, we get to work on larger, higher budget productions than we ever could anywhere else. It's becoming the answer to the question, how do you get Hollywood level production value without Hollywood level corruption? So if you sign up using my link that's on screen right now, you'll get an annual subscription for just $30, which is 40% off the regular price. Or you can check out Lifetime, where $300 will get you access to Nebula forever, with your purchase going to fund the creation of even more exciting originals than ever before. You'll get access to my videos early, access to exclusives, and support the ambitious projects that my friends and I are working on on our own streaming site. So sign up now and get 40% off of Nebula, or get the incredible Lifetime deal by clicking on the link below. After that, click on this link over here for more Legal Eagle, or I'll see you in court.